Uh, what I'm doing now is just uh, prepping the surfaces of these insert boards. Uh, like I said, the challenge with polys uh, in the this climate where the temperature fluctuates a lot is uh, some condensation along the sidewalls. So what I started doing is just treating my pine boards with uh, flame. And what it does, it helps repulse some water probably creates a more natural surface and it prevents the mold from building and it actually protects the wood and uh, so basically every beekeeper should have a plumber's torch and uh, it comes in really handy for lighting your your smoker disinfecting your tool and in my case uh, prepping my wood surfaces uh, for my nooks and my poly equipment Cheers. Might as well do both sides. You'll notice one uh, has some mold on it, some black mold there. So the torch will make sure that uh, it's all uh, disinfected. And uh, this one's a nice one. So, yeah. Another good use of the torch is uh, to help burn off some of this creosote around the lips here. And just to keep your, uh, you can use cleaners and solvents and stuff, but uh, fire works best. I guess that's what a chimney fire looks like. Burning creosote. And then the next step is just uh, to use a scraper and scrape the, uh, scrape it off. So it's good to have a glove handy, but uh, as you can see, the, uh, I'm not sure if you can see through the sun there, but the creosote just dusts up. Just use a screwdriver to, to scrape the edges and, and now the lid won't get stuck. So I do this a couple times a season just to keep my, my, uh, my smoker uh, nice and clean. So the other use for the torch is to disinfect your tools. I'll let it cool down and then I'll flip it over or I'll just use the tool.